Hi, it's me again with Grilled All Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this file. Not 100% sure I understand what they're asking. They're going from a red to yellow, and to me, that looks pretty good. Uh, I did another one with the interactive fill tool. Maybe that's what they're wanting. You can't really blend like two lines. I've got a yellow line and a red line. If we take those two lines and blend them 999 times, it it just doesn't work. I mean, that is, that's a pretty cool design, uh, but that doesn't really work. Um, maybe the best thing, uh, I don't really know what uh, they're trying to get to if they want more colors or, I mean, that to me looks pretty good, but we can just, uh, we can do one thing here to get many, many, many colors. Uh, it would take some time. And I, this would work. Let me just show you how that would happen. Um, just take a half a circle. I'm going to hit P, put it in the center page, which doesn't really matter, but that way your line is now going to be in the center of the circle, and you can take that part away. Smart fill this with yellow. Let's go ahead and get the lines out of the way. So I'm going to select it all. I'm going to left-click, no outline. And I am going to now use the interactive fill tool. I'm just going to go from the bottom to the top and I'm going to put a red in the top and I'm going to put a yellow in the bottom. <clears throat> so then you can play around with the slide bar. Maybe that's what they're looking for. I don't know. Uh, you need this kind of perpendicular so it's per perfect and then you can slide, you know, more orange or less orange and uh, do whatever you want to. You can actually go off the page and go up here and get a totally different look. Of course, I think it looks better if you have it uh, kind of up there where it trans does that. But there's another way to use the blend tool in this operation with with these rings. So let's just take a an ellipse. I'm going to hit P. Put it. I didn't hold down the control button, so I'm going to delete that. Hold down the control button to get a perfect circle. Hit P. And matter of fact, her circle is not perfect, so maybe that would even be better. Let's just do that. Let's make a non-perfect circle. Let's take a two-point line and hit P, put it at the center of the page. And then we'll just, well, you know what we need to do? We need to contour some lines. So we're going to take this line, go up to effects and contour. Let's contour to the inside. Let's see five times. So that's not enough. And I've also got my color. I was trying to play around. We'll just keep it black. But we actually want more than five because I think that's about what she has. So let's do uh, 10 lines. Of course, we won't be able to get those in there because we're doing a quarter of an inch. So let's do 1.25. So, oh, 0.125. Now we have quite a bit of lines. I would go ahead and, and uh, select everything and break the contour apart or break the objects apart. Go ahead and just delete these lines and delete that line. doesn't really matter. Just get it out of the way and make it look better. So now we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten colors that we can go to. So what we can do now, we can take a, a red block and let's make a duplicate of that and let's make it yellow. And then let's take both of them and take away the outline. And now let's blend this guy a lot of times. Go to effects and blend. We're gonna blend it 999 times. We get every color in the rainbow now or in, within the reason of the red. and So we're going to select that and go to object, break the blend apart. So now what you can do, you can actually go up to object and ungroup it. So now you've got a red, you've got a yellow. Let's just move them down here. Let's move them closer to our object. You've got a, a little bit different, and you could do this... Um, better than I'm doing. I'm just 
randomly picking colors. I don't even know if I've got enough yet. And one way you can always count in Corel, you have eight objects, so we need a few more. And, you know, I would uh, definitely um, have divided this up a little bit more. Um, but you see what I'm doing. Now we can zoom in here, kind of make sure these are in order. That one might even go on that side of that. So anyway, when you're doing that, you'd want to pick a little bit better than I did. Now we can just take the Smart Fill tool and get to the eyedropper and pick that color and let's make it that red. Then go down and get the eyedropper again and pick that red. I probably got these two close together. Whoop. A lot of times you can hit the um, space bar. That's going to look pretty good. You have, I mean, excuse me, hit the escape button to get the next one. I didn't pick enough yellows. I can see that right now. But just to give her some ideas or them. And I'm, because I'm having to talk, I'm not really paying attention to which one I'm doing. And this might be totally off from what she's really wanting, but I just throw this out here. And like I said, if, if I would have been doing it for real, I would definitely, that's one way to do it. Take away the line. And I'm, I'm guessing this is a printer uh, type person and I know nothing about printing, but we go to bitmap, convert it to a bitmap, <clears throat> convert it to colors, and it'll kind of take those lines away and kind of fuzzy it up a little bit because you're going to have those lines. But I would be pretty proud of what they did right here. Um, I think it looks really good. This way you could just do more colors. And like I said, if I would have taken my time to... to <laughs> stretch this out and, you know, pick out some colors. You could have really blended them. I mean, if you look at the different shades of yellow, just like right there, and you could have done this with, you know, 20 of these colors. Anyway, I might be making a second video if this isn't what she's wanting. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.